we're on. Is this Crown Road? Crown Road and we came off what, Cave Road? Right, in the Dixon, Missouri area. Near the Gasconade River. We just came out of the Gasconade River bottom. Big climb too. Yeah, it is a huge climb. Beautiful vistas. Amazing. And we found the leaves. <laughs> we found color. <laughs> so we're gonna let you ride along a little bit so you can see. You just can't take pictures of all this. Oh, no. <laughs> Sparky approves. He's a little shaky, but he approves. He is approving. He's nodding. <laughs> drops off here, you know, but it's like... Yeah, we're running the ridge. We're, we are on the ridge. It crowns to our left, and then falls off, and it falls off immediately on the right. Somebody's building in here. They will have a fantastic view. Wow, the trees. <laughs> catch the sun sometimes and just shine. I am impressed with how not dry it is here. Puddles and that was a pretty good save from the August of no rain. The May, June, July and August of no rain. But they've got puddles in the roads. The river's not totally low like you think it might be, and... Well, the Big Piney and the Gasconade both were kind of down. Well, and I suppose even the, the Rubidoux, it gets most of it kept from that spring, but there was water above it, so that's impressive. Definitely different from the evidence of the flood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was something else. Was that 35 feet up on the bridge, there's logs caught in it? That was quite the raging torrent. Oh, dust. Dusty, dusty. The curse of living on a gravel road. Would you call this gravel? <laughs> yeah, mostly. <laughs> I was thinking mostly dirt and a little gravel. It's a it's a dozer track. I mean, it's typical Ozarks country road. I'm sure it has quite a history of sorts that you could, if you could find out where who did what. Right. Get to the library and start digging, but... Oh, yeah. Our next road will be Cardinal Road, which will take us off on another adventure out through the woods. This is heading us back to Highway 28. thinking that we'd see a deer along here somewhere. But I, I heard squirrel. You and I both heard, well, you heard him too. We've heard red-tailed hawks. We have not seen much in the way of wildlife. <laughs> they all live in town. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they heard deer season's coming. Yeah, they all moved into the nature center there in Springfield. Them people out in the country have guns. <laughs> I just stuck it in my pocket. That's, the That's green. mine. <laughs> you have yours. So I got mine out. You have yours. I do. <laughs> I told you I had another one. I just had to dig through. 
this over in here off to this side is deep yeah it's got to be 120 130 feet down in there and it's a big flat valley and you cannot see it out if you know, swing the camera there's one spot where you, over. Can you can't even in. see in there but I'm just making it out just little gaps through the trees I can see it Stop. <laughs> I gotta get out. Alright. That's some red looking trees right there. Pretty color. This, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was getting. <laughs> All of like, this, wow. <laughs> both sides are just kind of. Windshield's too dusty. To Those are maples, get, that's that's why we're getting this. Is it maples? Yeah, at least the lower cover I'm seeing some. Yeah, see the shape of the leaves. That's Not a common tree. That, no, it isn't. That's why it suddenly went pow with the color. <laughs> now, there's also a lot of hickory that's well, turning. That's what these are. And I saw a little bit of sassafras back there. It was red. Yeah, there's a little bit more. can't even convey. The camera's not even going to show. But that's got to be off to this way. <laughs> it's got to be more than 130. It's probably 250, 300 feet. I'd have to look up the look topo, up maps. topo maps to see. But that is... And here we are, Pulaski, Phelps County area on the east eastern border of Pulaski, western of Phelps. Again, that's Missouri 28 and Crown Road. If you want right. to go look at this for this place on the map, that's where you go. And we've been pretty much just coming up. Yeah, ever since, since we, we ever since we turned on the Crown off of Oh, just since I said that, there we go. Down, <laughs> down we go. Down we go. <laughs> and this makes a huge loop. You get down by the Gasconade River. And yeah. There are abandoned buildings and there's a building going on where they're selling five-acre camping plots and... Tell you what, though, if you were to buy out in here, and not other than what we saw down on the river bottom for sale, I don't see any signs out here. You're not going to have the best road in. No, you're not. There's going to be times when this road ain't going to be passable. Probably not because of snow much, but washouts from the rain, you can see along the edge. Yeah. We've had some issues with that. Pretty well, though. Yeah. Considering. I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like down by the confluence of the Ruby Dew and the Gasconade, which was totally impassable unless you had a very high centered four wheel drive. If we had Big Red, we'd <laughs> have no trouble. We'd drive right down in there. Okay. But, I don't know, that one dip, I think the gas tank might have rubbed. Nah. <laughs> No, that, that ain't, you just steer around stuff like and that. And now we got the big drop off over here. Yeah. Not as extreme as what you were describing, but probably 
That's maple. 75 to 100 foot There down. are small maples around. Well, no, it keeps going. <laughs> wow. Lots of red and yellow. Yeah. Some of these small bushes, I do not know. They're red and pointy leaves. That's a maple turning. We'll have to go look at the one in our backyard that's probably six or eight foot tall now. Oh! Ha. What? A combi. A combi? A combi. Volkswagen. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know get a... <laughs> A beetle bus. I need to get a picture of that. <laughs> Ooh. Would that count for a band in Missouri? I think. <laughs> it's definitely abandoned. <laughs> it's been abandoned for some time. For some time. Consider in the trees that's growing up through it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wonder the story on that one. There's kind of a flatbed trailer, double axle. And trailer. how the heck did they get them up there? Oh, right, right there. Here. There's more stuff back in there, but I can't. I can't tell. There's what. tires and trailers. And yeah. What was this about? No dumping? <laughs> or wait, no. Well, you can't call it dumping. There's an RV up there. <laughs> I think somebody lives up here, or lived up here. They've I got a little lived. pool behind pop up, and I think lived. Kind of goes well, on. Well, it starts to get more, more like there's actual live humans. Maybe there's a fifth wheel horse trailer and a box trailer. And a van that looks like it might be used in recent times. Oh yeah, here's the part where they actually are. And a red there. pickup and oh heavens. <laughs> this goes <laughs> on forever. A Nova. An old 72. <laughs> and a big fifth wheel box trailer. And another RV. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's. Well, they got a wire across the drive, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh my. Yes, people do live out here, and you're, if you're expecting an HOA, <laughs> they don't know what that is. <laughs> they shoot you. <laughs> yeah, you go talking about HOA, they'd be like, you're, you're out of That's here. That's why I did not lose signal down here. Yeah. Power right there. Even got AT&T signal. So I guess we're getting back into the populated part of this, this particular road. Uh, that van looked like it had been burned. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about populated, honey. <laughs> maybe this one, these Once. two, maybe these two. Yeah. No, they, they did populated. Somebody build it on. That's nice. That's a nice little house. Yeah, it's little, little looking like. Well, I, that'd be a regular house for me, but. Oh, that's a, a pretty home right there. Oh yeah. And they planted that red tree in the front yard. Yeah. <laughs> on purpose. That's nice. Cardinal, Cardinal Road? Cardinal Road. Right. They weren't headed for, what's the name of the church, or is it you'd say? Okay. Cardinal Creek and Cape Roads combined to lead you 3.65 miles to Riddle Bridge Access. Riddle Bridge Access. Okay. I see a lot of red ahead of us. So we're looking for Creek Road. 
turn left onto that. I haven't seen a sign that has a name of a road. <laughs> Other than <laughs> this road has been improved a lot. This was 28 something. It wasn't even marked as Cardinal Road. Turn it on to it. But Google Maps found it. So that means that it was on Phelps County. Instead mm. of, because the county roads in Pulaski all had names. Which it would. This, this would have been, we're in back in Pulaski again because we're right on that line. Yeah, we're, we're kind of boundering it. A little wash out here. Why they poured dirt? Look at all that red. It's amazing. seen one back on that first road we took <laughs> opened up and everything cut off at the base and taken out of it oh man and it's like you know stealing copper and it makes your phone go out how ironic <laughs> well this makes a big left down here i'm gonna say stay left <laughs> we've gone about one and a half miles i haven't seen any road signs not and it even. says they combine, so go left here. Go left. Go left, young man. Wait a minute, I see a... Creek Road. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Kind of hidden. Food. What an uncanny <laughs> navigation ability we have. <laughs> <laughs> we are on a dozer track in the middle of nowhere Ozarks and we found where we wanted Creek Road to be. parallels and crosses Jones Creek before becoming Cave Road that bends to cross the Gasconade River at the Br Riddle Bridge access. So somewhere down here then... We cross over this creek over here on the right. That was not a photogenic country cemetery and church back there, by the way. It didn't look like it. It was not photogenic. There were people that had built there, and it was kind of trashed. Um, so more of an abandoned church. if you church. went back to the cemetery, it might be a different deal, but that felt kind of uncomfortable. Maybe there were ghosts. Maybe. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Pulaski County Ghostbusters, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to call it backwards, because it really wasn't that backwards, except for... The restaurant that we thought would be the place to eat really was the place to eat, and but they rented it out for a whole week. Who does a, we a wedding for a whole oh, week? Oh, they were closed a week for a family wedding is what she said. Yeah. Not rented out, but closed, closed. for a week. Well, I they, saw a sign the, that said open. The family on. wedding might have been in Hawaii. Yeah, well, yeah, that's I've true. known people that have done that. So they probably are not anywhere close. Big fat Waynesville wedding, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that, a movie? <laughs> well, it's just that we got all this cloud cover because I'm thinking that would be picturesque in the sun. Yeah, we kind of lost our light a little. We aren't going to have a golden hour. It's going to kind of not be any. I think we had our golden hour about 2.30. Yeah. But we did get some, so far, we got some pretty good shots. Thinking shit. Oh, what do we got right here? We have sheds. Big sheds. 
that, that building there just isn't kept up. <laughs> yeah, not abandoned, just underground house. Neglected. That's kind of cool. We must be crossing Jones Creek. Hey, low water bridge. Getting ready to cross Jones Creek. So we're not gonna do the Lori and Kenny version of crossing where they hammered it. <laughs> you, you, Lori and Kenny. Are yeah, you saw the video on Facebook. They were in Bagbog Park and they. I missed that. Oh. Well, we're not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Even calling though, them out in this? Or kinda, what? <laughs> if it's an actual low water bridge, which I don't think it is. Uh, I think you're wrong because there it is. But there's no water. It's a culvert with concrete. <laughs> so, and denied. Denied. And not much water in the creek. Well, there's a fair amount. There's a fish or two in there, I think. I think I saw some china. That's pretty upscale for middle of nowhere Ozarks. <laughs> for a low water crossing? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've, I've crossed a whole lot worse. <laughs> so we should be getting close then to where this turns into cave. You wouldn't know it was fall down here in the bottom. The leaves haven't even started to turn yet. They'll probably be green all winter. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I've so this is it. gonna become cave road and lead us on to the access. Is there gonna be a cave? This is nothing about a cave. But considering how they're naming stuff, it makes you wonder. Well, there used to be it's a house probably, here that's missing a it's mailbox. It's probably good that we don't name it because there'd be places like Horse Butt Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of gas bottom. <laughs> broke, broke a fan belt hill, you know. <laughs> It's really a good thing we don't name stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we left it up to the French. Had two flats and left. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom road. <laughs> Stopped here and had lunch rock. <laughs> <laughs> Saw Arkansas Cray. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> High place. <laughs> yeah, it's really holy crap. High place. <laughs> yeah, it's really a good thing we didn't name things. You know. <laughs> oh, got a bunch of red. Tell you what, though, it's about the same as my dad's driveway. That's <laughs> <laughs> saying a lot, right there. You know, it? Look at that my dad. House. My dad took good care of his driveway. Look at his brand new rock and everything. I don't know that I'd want their driveway in the winter. Oh, there's here. Oh, here they are. Young one, baby, first this year's. <laughs> yeah, we're following you. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> I put it on shutter priority for... <laughs> <laughs> They're not sure what to make of us. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, there goes Mama. And baby, off to the side. Now I bet you won't see him again. Oh no, uh, that is dense. Oh, right there. Ooh. Ooh. for the photo shoot. <laughs> You're gone. <Yeah. laughs> that was funny. Yeah, they just kept going. <laughs> no, we're not going to hurt you. Just take your time. <laughs> It's one of those rare times where I didn't turn the camera off. I just kept it running. That's awesome. <laughs> and we've been saying we had not been seeing wildlife. We hadn't really. I mean, that's the first I've seen out doing... Well, we've seen a couple... Remember when we saw the ones up by Hahatanka? Right. And never got a shot at them. And I, other than the ones that you see at Lake Springfield, which they, they're tame. They know nobody's going to hurt them. So that's what the, this year's crop of baby does, baby uh, deers look like now. Yeah. They're pretty good sized. Pretty good sized. Yep. Not ATT phone box. I. I see a bridge. I see a bridge. I see some smashed-in houses. They must have been That's wrecked like because of the flood. That's like very abandoned. Wow. Four nine miles look right and follow the power line boys that edge the field. These lines lead to the former Skaggs Bridge crossing. At the junction of Lexington and Highway 17 is the Pikes Peak Bluff and the mouth of the Ruby and Kate at the confluence of the Ruby and Gas So, so we're, we're coming back to where we were. Coming back to where we were. Alright. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of rough. We're totally losing our light. <laughs> hey, hey, sofa dump. <laughs> That's a big sofa dump. Dang. There must be ten sofas in there. <laughs> Not just one at a time. Yeah. gone. Yeah. Well, that was a that was a stellar ring I got there, boy. That I can work with that. You're gonna you're gonna believe what that's gonna look like on it. That's gonna be amazing, I'm sure. Yeah. And it helps to get ultra wide because you get everything. Another sofa. This is gonna be sofa dump road. 
I thought we'd already been on Soap Dump Road. Well, this is even more so. This is more so. It's like more Sofa Road. More Sofa Dump. More Sofa Dump. <laughs> There's somebody burned their sofa. At least they did that. Ooh. We're not coming back this way, are we? No. Good. <laughs> 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 Hang in there, Bella. <laughs> this is this is a rough one. <laughs> Although it'd probably be smoother on the way up, but we'd spend a tire or two. Freshly gravel, freshly graded. How would you like to go down that for a driveway? After Good you come down Lord. this. Deaf child ahead. So if you see him in the road, you got to get out and sign to him, hey, don't play in the road. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just yell it at him. you, you got to get out and sign it to him. I'd call that almost abandoned. Almost abandoned. It looks like Somebody it cut the grass this year. It may have been mowed this summer. There's a big kitty cat. Big kitty cat? Big kitty cat. Like what kind of kitty cat? Like a big, like almost a Himalayan kind of fuzzy. Fluffy. Oh, okay. I was going to say they had a tiger or something back there. A big tiger? Something like that. They have big culverts across. Yeah, I bet it probably pours. And most of the time it's a dry branch. Plant entrance? The heck? We're seeing all kinds of stuff on Sofa Dump Road. City of St. Robert. Wastewater. We found the city of St. Robert hey. Truck Works. It's the, <laughs> it's the Pierre Laclede Memorial Turd Works. <laughs> no. It's Sir Pulaski. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I never did catch that guy. Well, I saw it, but I don't remember Pulaski's first name, but he was a guy. The hero of Pulaski, or the Pulaski hero. Unlike Memorial Turdworth. firefighters would hear Pulaski and they think axe because that's a fire axe of ah. Pulaski. I, I think that's right. And that was named after somebody else different completely. Maybe a relative of that. Uh, we have a dry creek crossing with tires. So. Which way? Let me put my glasses on. I think we go right. Better be sure before we do it. That looks like right to me. Is, is where we're going the red dot? It's well, left. that's where Google put us. Mm. This says, Laramie Road curls around an area known as Chocolate Bottom. Which, if that's it, I'm not impressed. It really doesn't say. Mm. <laughs> on the road, not even off the road. This ain't this even time. off the road, man. I mean, come on, people. Come and dump your old sofa. What is sofa. the thing about Pulaski County and dumping all their sofas back on these back roads? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. It might be leather. Maybe we should skin it. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it might have been <laughs> not leather, honey. I think it was one of those cheap knockoffs. I saw some dude in uh, on a YouTube video that skinned a leather couch in New York City. Just got out a utility knife and skinned it right there on the street. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it was DeResta that did that. And he put it to good use, but he just didn't use the rest of the couch. <laughs> 
And this is called Shockley Bottom. And that's the outlet of the St. Robert water treatment plant right there, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait a minute. No. I was going to say maybe them, them high trees over there was what we're looking for, but it ain't. So we're going to come out on the west side of, of the bridge on 17. Is that it's, what it shows? It's a, let me look with my glasses. I don't remember crossing over 17. We didn't. We came in the back way. We're coming back up to it. So this will come in on the north side of Waynesville actually come into We come in on the north this, side. This of is 17. the north side. This will bring us in on technically 17. the east side of 17. This will bring us in. I just lost signal. Um, oh, this yeah. will bring us um, in on the north side of Waynesville on 17, or north of Waynesville on 17. So the Sofa count for the day, 20. <laughs> That's probably pretty close, honey. <laughs> Dead go. I wasn't counting, but... I'm going to say 20. Okay, great. I might have missed one along the way, but... I... And supposedly there's one more of these roads, but I don't know. We're, we're so far out of light with this cloud cover. Yeah, I think we probably ought to consider going and getting snacks take home and ooh, another low water bridge hey, hey. somebody drove through wet concrete on it <laughs> oh it's the st. Robert trailer park so yeah we could do that and then head on to the Elm Street Cafe I'm thinking Cause I'm of course I be, was thinking I'm gonna be really hungry by the time we get you get a biscuit and gravy and you'll be just fine. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cattle those are out there. They're not really tan. They're not really gray. The tan ones back there are Charlet. I think those are muddy Charlet. Are they muddy Charlet? I think so. Might be. You know how they are, you know, it's like a horse, you give it a bath and the first thing they do, head right for the mud and start rolling. Well, I have seen quite a bit of evidence of woodpeckers. School bus. Oh, joy. Uh, I got a spot up here. Just fine. Wide spot. Winsville R6. Those are mixed up Charlet. Yeah, this is the back there was it? all one thing, but this is to mix. It just blows me away. Well, it probably blows them away. Is there can be a tornado and they're standing there like that eating. <laughs> they paid no attention to it. <laughs> Hang on. I don't know if it'll take or not, but we're gonna try. I'm still on wide. I had to go wide to get it. <laughs> But I've still got high def on, so maybe it'll pull it. Wow. I might have to bump up the exposure to start getting some of these. I've bumped it up a little bit. We must be getting close to a main road, because 
These are pretty upscale houses. Actually, got we got a ways to go. <laughs> but it does take you to Highway 17. Oh, there's your whole mess of Charlay. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. I mean, they could be something else, but they're white. And it's a mess of them. Look at that mess of them. Well, here. Oh, you don't point me that direction. I, I got to get around this. And when you turn... Well, let, me, let me get up here closer up where you can shoot straight out the window and get the lone Hereford. <laughs> you see there it? There are two. Oh, there are two Herefords? There are two. Well, if I go wide angle, I can get the... Hello. I'm gonna bet they're mixed. Yeah. Oh, I just turned it off. I gotta turn high def back on. Because you got an Angus. Well, it's Hereford okay. Cross out there. Yeah. But mostly white grass eaters. White grass eaters. <laughs> I'm not gonna call him in today, honey. No, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to try just another day where that's what we go do, you know. Call the cows. Yep. We'll get the music that he uh, used with his trombone and oh, test it out. Stand at the fence and call him. <laughs> I no. brought all the. I brought all the babies in. Come on. Give there's me, there's things that would give work. Me credit. Better. Than a. I need to rebid my phone. Mm. Okay. Mm. Got it? Got it. Cool. And some of them are just brilliant red. Yep, there's the bridge. I think this road was marked off the 17. I just don't think so. Yeah. Confluence of the Rebidu and the what Gascon. Was? Lexington Road? <clears throat> I bet I know I took a picture of the Gasconade River somewhere. But not the not the roads there. <laughs> and we are on seventeen. Seventeen for the second time today. First filming time, second time. This is kind of a pretty stretch of road right here coming into Waynesville downtown. As we follow alongside the Ruby Creek. Creek. It's considered a creek. Gotta make those sounds that people think are the the <laughs> alien noises. That's what it is. We were sure here to off on the down in the spring, the, Ruby the, Deep Spring area. Well that and uh, Big Piney at the 44 crossing. You could oh, yeah. say, yeah, listen to these sounds. It's alien creatures. It's nothing more than trucks hitting those rumble strips. <laughs> and they all did it. They too, all it did like. it. Every truck that went through was just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm just not convinced that those are actually a, a safety device. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This 
color is still pretty even though we're losing daylight fast with this cloud cover. Yeah, I think I'm getting fairly good with the film. It is 8 minutes till 5. business on the square. Yeah. <laughs> Lost in the Woods Antiques. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Don't think that one got by me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> and the story of this, the courthouse, you know, they, they built this new one and I don't know the date of they, when they built it, but it looks like it was built in the last 20 and it to you. Yeah, it does. And off to the left is the stagecoach. Stagecoach well, stop. Yeah, stagecoach stop. Probably would have been called a stagecoach inn at one point. Well, it was. It's, they called it a tavern, which, remember we ate at the tavern at the, uh, Jay Houston at Arrow Rock? Yeah. And a tavern was a place where you could get food and spend the night. It right. was not like a place today that just served food. And then we'll have to turn the camera. There is the 1903 third courthouse for <laughs> Pulaski County because the one well, actually, that's the fourth courthouse, the antique, or the, the museum now, because the third one burned in 1902 because of lightning. Yeah. Yeah, I remember reading that. And there's a placard. Didn't take a picture of the plaque. There I did not get that either. I, was I got the cannon. I was more interested in the cannon myself. I, uh, there's and the bell. writing on there on the front of it, on the face of it, that uh, tells where it comes from. Ah. And. Oh, that it, the donation? Well, no, it's, yeah, there's, I got that too, but on the barrel of the cannon, it talks about the cannon itself. Ah. How much it weighs and, uh, I got a good. Oh, good, because I didn't get that. And, yeah. So this is downtown Williamsburg. They got a thing with frogs here, don't they? Well, there yeah, the a frog, frog in front of the pub. <laughs> the frog. <laughs> We're gonna pass by the frog again. Yeah, we are. Uh, I hope you've got the camera going still. I have the camera going. Because they need to see the frog. Well, and to clarify, this is the frog on Route 66. The fro frog rock. Frog rock. Frog Rock. Yeah. Because if you're going to be traveling Route 66, this is something to see. Yeah, it is. And you have to be looking for it. As you exit 
clean still. To the east. To the east. Because... Well, if you're... If a lot of folks do Route 66 from St. Louis to... Or from Chicago to California... You'll see it better... So you'd be coming from St. Robert. You see it better going back to the west. Yeah. You'd be coming from St. Robert. at that last stop sign if you're going east. When you get in the curves, you got to look up on the bluffs to your left. And you can't miss the frog because they have painted it. <laughs> Wonder how many years they looked at it and said, you know that rock looks kind of like a frog. <laughs> and so they did. Yeah, they, there it is. Right there. On the hill. <laughs> kind of a funny looking frog, to be honest. No offense to frogs, but kind of funny looking to me. And now we are on our way to Uranus. Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> okay. Well, this is kind of important because this is a continuance of the, of the part of Route 66 called Hooker Cut. And the reason I guess it's called that, because if you look a little east on the map, it's called Hooker Hollow. That's true. So I don't know who the hooker was that lived there. <laughs> but <laughs> or was it a hooker or was their name Hooker? Uh, well, I'm saying their name was Hooker. I don't think that was a thing back when they named stuff. Unlike if you and I had named it, which we've decided that that's bad to let you and I name stuff <laughs> because it would be wrong. Everything about Everything it. Everything about it would be wrong. Yes. Wrong and bad. <laughs> But if you're a soldier and you're heading to uh, Fort Leonard Wood and you're coming from the west, quite likely you will see this intersection ahead, which was the four-lane section of Route 66. Although, no, it, Z Highway is, is an actual stretch of it. It wasn't four-lane. No. It was in fact it's so, very narrow. It probably if was. If I recall from my childhood years before I forty four came through, that was a very narrow stretch of well, yeah, sixty six because that's the way we went to Springfield from Rantoul. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean this is this is the stretch of the road that's at least part of it anyway because of the Eisenhower interstate system that gives you four lanes into the forum. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually, there's more than one way to do that, too. And this is St. Robert, by the way. Yes, it is. I don't 63. think we had announced that. You now, Waynesville and St. Robert are almost connected. Not that there is much going on anyway, but it's just they made all their money off timber years ago and then the fort. City of St. Robert Community Park. It's the aquatic center. Oh wow. As we all used to know as kids, the pool. <laughs> That's a really cool pool. You can see it's the water's all drained out right now. 
you can see all the zigs and zags in it. <laughs> How could that be better? I mean, when we were kids, it was the pool. Now it's the aquatic center. You have to say all that. Well, because you don't just have the pool to swim in. You've got the wave pool and you've got the slides going in. And yeah, it's just much more. You're saying that we were kids. shorted as kids? We were shorted. That we didn't have anything but the pool? We only had the pool. The pool in Winthrop, Iowa that I used to swim at was right by the railroad tracks. That was kind of a double cool thing because I didn't live right by the tracks. And when you were swimming and the train went by, woohoo! That was cool stuff. <laughs> okay, we are heading towards the famous or infamous Uranus. Missouri. <laughs> Which has become quite a big affair, from what I can tell. Mm, it, it is quite the attraction. And it's expanding constantly. They have paintball there now. I'm thinking Big they Louie have, probably is thinking he should have done this years ago. They have axe throwing. They have... Yeah, they were just building that last time we were here. Oh, the axe throwing is in the pub. Well, they were just getting that constructed the last time we visited. Oh, I thought that that was, there were people going in. There were, it was done the last time we were here. First really? time it was being built. Now they've added the paintball. The zombie paintball. The zombie paintball. And there it is, Explore Uranus. <laughs> Maybe we can get a copy of the Uranus exam. <laughs> I would do that just to have it. Uh, Are we going to turn the or? nightclub is closed. I don't know. <laughs> Area 151. Area 151 is closed. <laughs> sadly. Yeah, I just can't imagine the run from St. Louis to Springfield on this. And from what I was told years ago, they drove 70 on this. Yeah. In old, you know, like 50s we moved down Pontiacs here. and stuff. We moved down here in a Ford Country Sedan 1956 model pulling a big trailer. And the speed limit was 70. And the speed limit was 70. <laughs> I wouldn't want to take this car, which handles well down this stretch of road at 70. Highway 60 into Aurora has been improved a lot. Well, going uh, east too. Going I, learned, east Kabul. I learned to drive on the highway on that stretch of road when the speed limit was 70. It went to 55 shortly after, but Dad was like yelling at me to speed up. <laughs> He's like, oh, Dad. Yeah, so this is 55. Yeah. What we're doing right now, yeah. which with these kind of curves, I, you know, nobody else is going that much faster. That red truck ahead of us is going faster. And we teased, the last one was just a sign. Welcome to Uranus. And the Missouri. zombie paint. And the zombie paintball. And And we have to say, Uranus Fudge Factory. Yeah. Where their fudge pickers are the best. Fudge packers. Fudge packers are the best. Yeah. You know, it's still busy. I wanted to say that, yep, it was a good choice. There's a spot right over there. I was going to go for that spot oh, right away. Oh, that's even better. And the axe hole is up and running big time. Oh, they got a sign up there missing a pair of bowls. <laughs> oh, they got their museum up.